Diesel, are you excited to be in the truck? I'm very excited, man. Look at my face. This is my excited face. headlights that they put in here they're gonna be so much brighter and easier to change because now all I gotta do is change the bulb but I don't actually have to change the whole headlight assembly that's nice new grill new little deflector thingy in there the mirror is the same but those stains are gone because it's a brand new hood so that's nice looks so good looks like brand spanking new if you ask me are you ready to go or something diesel why are you so impatient? You ready to go? I'm oh, fine, man. I just lay over here. We have to wait for Mandy to do her work. She's finding our destination for us. Way out in Virginia, it's 1,400 miles, so it takes her a little bit of thinking. Still faster than I can think, that's for sure. Oh, we're at like 80% already, almost. Come on, Mandy, you can do it. You can do it. She's still on vacation. Apparently. Once she tells us uh, how far it's gonna be, I will use my own brain, my very own brain, to determine how long it's gonna take us to get there. And then I'm gonna call our customer and tell them when I'm gonna be there. And I'm gonna be accurate and I'm gonna be on time. But first Mandy has to work. Oh, wow, that was like from 88 to 91. Wow. Tell me what to do, Mandy. Drive to highlighted route. 10-4, Mandy. 2,007, no, 2,379 kilometers. That is 24 hours of solid highway driving. Then you got to add in traffic, construction, sleeping. You can only drive 11 hours a day once we hit the states. Uh, so 24 hours of driving. Let's say we're going to stretch that. We'll give us 30 hours to get there. That gives us six extra hours on the way down there. That should be plenty for rest stops and construction and traffic. So six extra hours, 30 hours. Uh, so that's, that's a lot of time. It won't take us 30 hours of driving, but we're just overestimating, right? Just to be safe so that we're, it's better to be early than late. So we can do a thousand kilometers today. That leaves us with 1300, 1400. We'll do a thousand kilometers tomorrow. That leaves us with about 400, three to 400 kilometers. So three to four hours left. So it's Wednesday today, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday morning, I'll still have to drive about four, four to five hours. Say we start our day, let's say around eight o'clock, probably eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 minutes. Plus we lose an hour going that way. I'm probably gonna get there right during lunch on Friday, between 12 and one. On the road again. It's a good song. Good feeling too. Making money again. I have a feeling that dump truck is turning even though he doesn't have his turn signal on. Nice lack of use of the turn signal, my friend. Very nice. Expertly executed. of a hair of a speed slower than me. Oh well, back to the normal grind. Getting frustrated at everything on the road. <laughs> uh, what else is there to do? Why are you going so slow? Speed limit's 100 here. Oh well. Oh, it feels good. It feels good. Oh, and the truck is running so smooth. Did I tell you guys that I had to get a tie rod replaced? I told you that, right? In order to do the front end alignment, uh, they had to replace my passenger side uh, tie rod as part of my uh, steering mechanism and stuff on my front right tire. And it was loose, it was getting old, it's an old truck, so they replaced it an extra like $400 to my pockets out of my pockets. There's DOT on the left over there. Hey, you stay over there. Stay over there, buddy. I don't want to talk to you. He was going the other way. 
trucker cops. Oh, Morris, Manitoba. Whenever you drive through here, going this way, it means you're leaving Canada, about to make some money. Making money. My tires are finally rolling again. You hear that beautiful hum? That's the hum of money. I could use some of that right now. I've spent quite a bit in the last month or two. Pretty much all we're gonna be doing is driving, driving, and driving for a long time. So those of you who like these road vlogs, you're gonna be getting a lot of them. All right, here we are once again. American border. Just on the other side of the line is the United States of America. How's that make you feel, Diesel? We're almost in the United States. Is that a crosswalk? That's not a crosswalk, buddy. The crosswalk's over there by the lights. Yeah, Diesel, he's got a dog. You see the dog, man? Was that a whistle? Diesel. My, my. You like her, do you? What about Lucy? Hey guys, we'll see you on the other side. Up goes the gate. I quickly go in before they change their mind, Diesel. Welcome to the United States of America. We just crossed from Manitoba, Canada into North Dakota, United States. And we still got 2,300 kilometers or so to get to our destination. <laughs> All right, so we'll be driving well into the night tonight, guys. Diesel, did you find the grass again? Did you find the grass? Stop sniffing the beer cans. People shouldn't be drinking beer at the truck stop anyway. That's what I never understand. They sell beer at the truck stops in the States. Isn't that sort of encouraging some illegal behavior? Just saying, maybe they shouldn't make it so accessible to people who are driving for a living. The majority of drivers would never think about doing that. But you know that there's some idiot out there who would take that as an invitation to get drunk and hit the road, you know what I mean? Doesn't make sense to me. Yeah, so we're here in North Dakota at Grand Forks Flying J. Grand Forks, North Dakota. Here's all the trucks. There goes the tanker. Tanker. Very nice. Yeah. So we're gonna run inside here, grab a quick bite to eat because I haven't stocked up my fridge because I haven't been on the road for so long. So I need to find a Walmart somewhere nearby here. Somebody wants to talk to me. Always when I'm vlogging. No, they just commented. They tweeted me. Who tweeted me? You're getting a shout out. That's it, you're getting a shout out. Oh, it's Shelly. I think you will enjoy the Tim Hortons dark roast coffee. Give it a shot. Hmm. Well, if Shelly says give it a shot, I guess I'll have to give it a shot. Cool. So, from here, we still got a long ways to go. We've probably been driving, what, two and a half to three hours. We want to drive 10 or 11 today yet, so. Better get going. Look at these things, 350 eh? 150 meters. Turn left on South 48th Street. Yeah, yeah, Mandy. This place is always packed full of these, uh, these, uh, what do you call them? The wings? The wings for those, uh, wind turbines? Always tons of them out here. Because they make them right nearby, eh? And they transport them around, and I guess they got a deal to park here. It's like, I saw at least six or seven of those things in here. Anyways, got a little bite to eat. 
Got some fuel, forgot to wash the windshield. I know I'm a little rusty. I haven't been on the road for a while. Whatever, you guys don't mind the bugs, do you? They're just bugs. Think of it this way, every bug on my windshield is one less bug that'll be pestering you. Absolutely, I'm doing the world a service. Anyways, now that I'm back in the truck, I'm back on to my CNN kick. Yeah, I've seen what's wrong with the world. Apparently the world is still ending. I totally forgot about it. Totally forgot about that fact. everybody and getting flashed or all over the place and if they're too low I'm not gonna be able to see anything guess we'll find out very soon in the next couple of hours well it's a usual first day on the trip I sort of live in the middle of nowhere like you guys know so the first day is always you know getting somewhere <laughs> Leaving nowhere and going somewhere. But in order to get somewhere, you gotta go through a whole lot of nowhere. If that makes sense. Like I've been saying, we're planning on stopping at Black River Falls, Wisconsin. And tomorrow we should make it down into Kentucky. And then we'll go the rest of the way on Friday. And then we got a reload. I've already got my reload. That's headed right back to Winnipeg, so it's going to be the same road straight back, which is great because I forgot all my shirts at home. <laughs> I don't know if I have any spare shirts in this truck here. I took them all in to wash, right? Because it's, uh, you know, I had so much time off, I might as well do all the laundry. And I left them all at home hanging. I'm pretty sure this is the only shirt I got, the one that I'm wearing right now. I hope I have at least one extra so that we can make it through the next couple of days till I get back home. <laughs> we should be home Sunday night, that's what I'm thinking. That was a short one, but I'm not gonna stay home long. I'm just gonna turn around and go straight back out. Yeah, no sitting around for this guy. We did enough sitting around already. Turn the wipers on here. It's starting to rain or 
something here. What is this? Moisture falling from the sky. Well, coffee stop number two of today. Numero du. Numero dos. I think. Number two. I know three languages. <laughs> Anyways, I'm tired, so I had to stop for uh, coffee number two here. We had Timmy's from home from this morning. And now we got our pilot coffee. Our intense energy. We gotta go about another four or five hours yet, so I need my energy. I mean, I could make it without any coffee, but it's just more fun with coffee, you know what I mean? It's just more fun. <laughs> Well, there's one good point today. We drove through some rain and it washed all the bugs off. See, good thing I didn't scrub it like crazy before. Mother Nature cleaned it for me. You guys see this white Peterbilt sticking out here? It's got a custom sleeper on the back. You see that? Right there. Nice. That's a big custom sleeper. Oh, well, it's a moving company, of course. Does anyone know why those moving companies have such nice trucks? They must make some really good money moving people's stuff around. Tell you what. I wonder how much money they make. I'm just curious. Probably rude to ask though. It's always rude to ask how much money someone makes. But I'm asking anyway, how much money do those guys make? Why are their trucks always so nice? I want one. I know their job is harder than the average trucker just because they got to move everybody's stuff. Probably a lot of times got to move it all up and down a couple of flights of stairs and everything. Plus they got to deal with not breaking any of the people's stuff. Okay, so, okay, so, okay, so it is packed at Flying J in Wisconsin, Black River Falls. Just absolutely packed everywhere. Every little nook and cranny has a truck crammed in there. Found ourselves a spot out of the way. It's a spot now, as I said it is. Okay, Jason. If we say it's a spot, it's a spot. I feel kind of bad for these guys here. They kind of got blocked in. That RV back there, underneath the light, Totally got blocked in. That's always sad. I know, I know it's difficult sometimes, but try not to block people in, guys. It's, it's just annoying in the morning because then they can't leave, right? And then you get your sleeper door banged on. Like that motorhome there. Totally blocked in. Even this guy here, that, uh, that other truck there who nosed in, blocked in this red truck here as well. The red truck can only back up so far. He'll probably still be able to get out, but it'll be tight. It'll be really tight. But anyways, we're just hanging out, enjoying nature. Let's see what's the fuel price here. Wow. Wow, it's cheap. That's per US gallon. A uh, US gallon is 3.78 liters. It's like what? 75 cents a liter, something like that. Something like that, 70, maybe even 70. Ridiculously cheap, anyways. I will be fueling in the morning. Either here or at South Beloit. I haven't decided yet, but either way, we made it to our destination. We made it as far as we wanted to. Diesel is sniffing out some stuff in the bush here. Diesel, they probably don't got the same snakes here. No more snakes here for you, bud, sorry. He likes to chase the snakes at home now. Until one bites him on the face. <laughs> that won't happen, don't worry, I wouldn't let that happen. I'll save you, Diesel. But, oh, I've been paying attention to all the other drivers out here with uh, moose bumpers and bull bars and whatnot in front of their truck. And I almost went with Alliarc. Uh, they make, it's a company based out of Winnipeg, I think. They make them in Winnipeg. But they only make medium duty bumpers. I went to go look at them, they're not that tough. They'd stop a deer, but they wouldn't even come close to stopping a moose. Uh, there's Bison Grill Guards. That's the name of the company. They make really tough moose bumpers. They're also based out of Winnipeg, or have a 
they have a manufacturing plant there and also herd the brand i went with herd road train bumpers inspired from the road trains from australia they're tough but if you're looking for the toughest of the tough unless if i missed some line of bumpers that aliarc makes they don't make heavy duty bumpers they make medium duty i would say but not that they're bad they're very popular but they're not the toughest out there from what i've found maybe i'm wrong i don't know Diesel, are you ready to go to bed? I am ready. Uh, the first night is always chaos in the truck. Always chaos, every time. Because I jump in the truck, I just throw everything in here, right? And then I take off and leave on the trip. Then I drive all day. At the end of my day, I have to spend extra time here cleaning everything up. That's why I'm gonna edit this video tomorrow, because I gotta spend time today cleaning up my mess. I'm not the cleanest of the neat freak kind of guys, but I like it to be organized. I know where everything is, and right now I don't know where everything is. So I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to work on that a little bit. Thanks for joining me today, guys. First day back on the road, high five. We will see you tomorrow at 4 a.m. Central Time for the continuation. We should make it down to Kentucky tomorrow, I'm thinking, mm -hmm. somewhere down there. Mm -hmm. We're gonna be going past Chicago through Illinois, Indiana, down Indiana, I think Kentucky is the next state, and then Virginia. Or are we even going through Kentucky? I haven't even looked at the road yet. I have no idea where I'm going. I might not even go through Kentucky. I don't know. We're going to Virginia. That's where we're going to end up anyways. I'm delivering there Friday. So I'll see you tomorrow, 4 a.m. Central Time, for tomorrow's vlog. Don't miss it, and don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Helps me out a lot, makes me feel good. I don't make any money off it, so you don't gotta worry about that. It's free for you, it's free for me. See you later.